If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. It's a right doozy, mate. Can we just start? Sure. Oi, governor. Welcome back to Dango Duos. We're playing... Virtue's Last Reward. This fucking game with the robot. God save the queen. Oh my god, we're fucking terrible. Oh, Someone out there is like... Everyone. Yep, yep. Pissing off everybody. Sure. It's a robot. And it's talking. With an accent. <laughs> oh no, the game... No, yeah. Do you think that... Didn't choose to talk like this, not by half. Now, Alice, darling, do I rightly recollect you characterising my speech as coarse? Well, that's right, cruel it is. You really think I asked for this? <laughs> You're smiling. They, they give us all a, um, what you call them, a personality. Some tosser thought they'd give me this one. It ain't right, I tell you. <laughs> Um, so, what the hell are you? Okay. If you're a barrel maker, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> right you are, we old son. Right you are. <laughs> well, go on. Have a butchies, mate. What do I look like to you? Robot, you say? Well, nearly there, but they call us garlands round here. Gollum? Oh, I've heard of golems. They're sort yeah. of monsters, I guess, from Jewish folklore. They're made from clay, and they look like men. They're supposed to do whatever their master, or creator, or whatever commands them to do. Well, aren't you a clever bird? You are, of course, correct. The golem of myth is a clay creation that moves under its own power. Our spellings are my dick, you know. Ah, oh, okay. The original blokes are spelt G-O-L-E-M. But me and me mates are G A U L E M. That's an acronym for General Purpose Autonomous Labor Electronic Machine. Got it. Truth to tell, it's a bit rubbish when you write it out all like that. But I figured they wanted to make sure they had the golem thing in there, you know? What with us being robots and all. That's pretty self conscious. Um. So. Should I just call you Golem? Uh, that don't seem quite kosher. <laughs> After all, all of me mates here are golems too. I couldn't very well call all of you lot human, could I? I mean, that's fair. What should we call you then? Well, we've all got a product ID, and they're unique. I figure that's as good a name as any. And your ID is? GTM-CM-G-OLM. Whoa. That's way too long. We can't remember that. <laughs> what? You taking the mickey out of me? <laughs> taking the mickey out of me? <laughs> So, right then, let's just use the last bit, shall we? D O L M? Golem. Come on, man, let's just golem. Well, I'll be buggered. <laughs> well, I'll be buggered. <laughs> Can't say I ever noticed that before. <laughs> sure, it's a strange coincidence, isn't it? Sure is. <laughs> What's the matter, Kitty? What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong, Matt? This is a very serious game, is it not? Uh, yeah. Uh, I had no idea we're gonna make to make it to this. Just to make just to make it clear, this is not a filler episode. Cool. Uh, in perfect 999 fashion, we're about to do a very 999 thing, like literally in like now. Um, all right, um, Golem, you said Alice Darling a little bit ago, right? A gentleman can't say something nice to a pretty young bird, eh? No, I don't care if you call her darling. What I'm saying is you call her Alice. How did you know her name? <laughs> oh, she ain't the only one of you lot whose name I know. I know who you are, Sigma. And you too, Luna. <laughs> I'm right familiar with all nine of you. How? You don't know? Oh, they got cameras all over this place. Well, then again, the lenses aren't much bigger than a screw. And they're all in the way. So I suppose I can't really blame you for missing it, huh? Now, 
As I was saying, there were these cameras, you see, and all of the data they record gets sent off to the mainframe in real time. So I just gave the main core a ring, got those videos, and now I'm. You I gave them a ring, you. huh? Hmm. Van. Does that mean you're Zero Junior? <laughs> cool, blimey. Are you bleeding serious? I'm bleeding serious. You gotta be off your box if you think I'm Young Master Zero. Young Master Zero. The young Master is a right proper AI. What supervises all the electronic bits and bobs in this place? My humble self and knows with the misfortune to be like me. I'm more akin to computer terminals who are merely borrowing a little bit of the central. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> huh? Alrighty. What's the matter? Let's just let's keep going. What, what, what's the matter, kid? What's wrong? Talk to me. This is weird. This is. Uh, <laughs> I think this is weird. This is. You think 99 is weird? The, the, see, the issue with 99 is that it takes a while for it to get really, really weird. I think it's until the last act. It didn't get this bonkers. Uh, uh, I mean, there uh, isn't a robot with a Cockney accent. Okay. okay. Who knows all of our <laughs> names? Uh huh. And is. Can I Fuck. Let's just keep going. Yeah, go. Oh, uh, <clears throat> so golems are kind of like little, like Zero Junior's servants. Uh, no, not quite, Governor. Not quite. I'd say me and me mates here are more like uh, arms and legs, right? Now, you lot don't have brains in your arms and legs, do you? Not that we know of. Of course not. Right you are, missus. You'd be all sorts of nasty if your elbows and that lumpy bit on your ankle was all packed with brains. That would be awkward. Mm -hmm. Well, we're like your arms or legs. The golem seat of consciousness, so to speak, ain't in the head. The fact that the matter is, it's not it's in the butt. In body. Which makes a fellow wonder, where is it? In the mainframe? Spot on. So that part of me what thinks is in the mainframe. Everything this here body sees and ears and what have you, that all gets sent back there. Then the mainframe does some sort of computery jiggery pokery and comes up with some decisions and, and those decisions beget commands. Now those commands are sent over the wireless like boop 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 and eventually <laughs> my body picks them up. Finally, those commands cause actions what move the various bits in my body. Mm -hmm. That's why right. this thing's like the computer terminal, you see. Mm -hmm. The body's just an output device of sorts. If we were talking about one of them personal computers here, you could say a golem's kind of like a, uh, a monitor. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Then wouldn't that make you part of Zero Junior? Well, I suppose you could say that. What we're just sharing the mainframe and all. But I don't know shit all about this game he's running. That part of mainframe's locked away from the rest of us. Mm. The same way your arm can't just, you know, decide what you do. Mm. Uh, Zero and I are two different blokes. You recollect what Gollum stands for, huh? I'm autonomous. Um, but if that's the case, your hands and feet uh, analogy doesn't really make sense anymore. My arms and legs aren't autonomous. They can't just, they don't just move on their own. Smack. Yeah. Ugh. You sure, Governor? I watched you cross your arms just now. And now you, huh? you're frowning and your forehead's getting all wrinkly. Do you do these things on purpose? Well, when you crossed your arms, were you thinking, right then, let's cross them, shall we? Curl <laughs> on down then, mouth. Oh, and eyebrows. I'd be much obliged if you'd squeeze in a bit. There's a good pair of blokes. That's what you was thinking, isn't it? No? Huh. Didn't reckon so. I figured you did all of that subconsciously. Ain't no man on earth who says to himself, feeling a mite nervous, I'll just twitch me leg around a bit, you know? Who's thinking real hard about something and says to themselves, well, I think I'll just give the old loaf a scratch, that'll help. <laughs> What's the matter, Kitty? Your tea? When you turn a page in your book. Oh, what about when your eyes just go straight for the pair on that bird you fancy? <laughs> yeah, uh, this yeah. Uh, all right. The zongas. But all of those things are your subconscious at work. Why are we staring at the ceiling? So, when part of your body does something, it's, no, I'm it's not just sure. Sigma just like, oh, oh God, <laughs> well, what I'm have sorry. I gotten into? But that don't mean your conscious mind is involved. Also, keep in mind, this is taking place in, you know. Nine, 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 well, 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 well I, mean, I mean, like, what year is it? 2028. Hmm. The future! 
That's how us golems and a young master get along. You, um, you got it all sorted now, chums? Sure. Then you're saying that Zero Junior is the central part of the mainframe, and the golems are like his hands and feet? right -o. So, an example of one of those uh, folder entries, literally one of the four, because they give you like three pages, one mm -hmm. of the pages is like, golems are these things that oh. do these jobs. That's the sort of shit you get from those like pages. That's dumb. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't be talking about such heavy rubbish, eh? My shoulders are all stiff. How can your shoulders be stiff? You're made of metal. You're a robot! You're a robot. How can your shoulders get stiff? <laughs> Thank you, Sigma! <laughs> I understand why I'm yeah. the one who was drawn yeah. as you. Yeah. And you said your back hurt earlier. Are you just messing with us? Yes, I did. And no, I ain't. Me back is all right, mess it is. Last maintenance check, they just left me here. I've been on this bed here for years. <sighs> the lubricant for me joints is all gummed up. Every time I move, it hurts. But why did you wake up again after all this time? Why do you think, love? Because you lot turned me on his wife. Especially that other missies over there. Oh yeah, the that button on the top of the safe. Right you oh. are, yeah, the button really right there. Then. The others need to see this. Huh. No, I can't. And more's a pity. I can only go as far as this cable here will let me. I got internal batteries, but they're knackered. And matter of fact, that's why I was here for maintenance in the first place. The yeah, same goes for these other blokes too. Of course, they ain't connected to a power cable like I am. So they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. I see. So you aren't gonna answer my question? Huh? What question is that? I asked you how your shoulders can get stiff if you're a robot. Right, right, so you did. Not sure why you've got a bug up your ass about that particular issue, though. <laughs> I mean... It's, it's the accent, isn't it? Is this the accent? I guess that's fair. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's not really important, but... Uh... I'm just curious, I suppose. Curious, are you? That's a good word, that is. A good, powerful word. God. The kind of word that will set any robot's heart to flutter. Those robots got the hot through me now. Hey! Sorry, then, shall we? Just lend me your laws of peers for a tick. Mm. Right, what? How can a robot get stiff shoulders? Arizos, please explain. Thank you. And what does pain mean to a robot? Tell me nothing. We're staring at the screen language. Ever heard of the Chinese? So no, 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 no. Shitty game developers? No, no. Oh, oh, that's what that's what their name is. Oh, that's stupid. Uh, uh. Now are we? We're into the most nine nine thing. Let's talk. Talk uh, about random yeah, shit. Phil, uh, philosophy. Uh, Schrodinger's subjects. cat, etc. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, I love that. Like, you, I mean, that's the, like the most common one. So you know, when you go into the the crew chamber, the crew quarters, you, you we're know, gonna like, deal oh, with we're that puzzle. Talk about cat. Also, um. The uh, the mm -hmm. other page you get in this in this puzzle, the secret page, tells you about the Chinese room. Oh. Except they're just about to tell you right now. What it feels real like those that those that secret solution feels like a waste of time. Mm -hmm. It feels like a thing that should be like Ginyu Game Plus or something. Mm -hmm. And and it actually gives you meaningful things about characters. Without waiting for an answer, uh, Golem launched into his explanation. Uh, somewhere, a pretty young lady, lady, pretty young bird, strapped in a tiny room. The door of the room has a slot that, that a, the number of Chinese people outside the room can use to slide slips of paper to the girl. I can't use regular voice for this because that's silly. Mm. On the piece of paper, on the pieces of paper are questions written naturally in Chinese. Unfortunately, the young lady has no idea what the questions say. But then, how could she? She has never learned Chinese, apart from a Hong Kong action movie or two in college. She's never even heard of it. So, for this unfortunate young lady, each note looks like nothing more than a bunch of strange symbols. Before she was locked away, she was given an order. And specifically, she was told to write an appropriate response to each question she received, and slip the answer back through the slot. Once Chinese questions begin to show up, however, she finds herself at a loss. Oh dear, she says to herself, why can't I read these at all? Whatever am I to do? It is at that moment that she spots a bookshelf. The bookshelf is filled with thick books. Upon examining them, she discovers that they are some sort of Chinese phrase books. They are no, they, are, they have no explanation of what anything means, but uh, show Chinese responses to Chinese questions. Am I supposed to use these? The questions keep coming, more and more and more of them. 
she finds the set of the the set of characters that corresponds to the set of characters on the paper and carefully writes out the indicated response. Uh, how's it going? It's awful. Please get me out of here. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Uh, here they give her some twice cooked pork. Are you full? Yes, although I don't think my stomach liked it very much. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I am dating a, a reggae dancer. Oof. That's a very specific response. When was your first kiss? When I was 14. He was a grade ahead of me in school. What color of underwear are you wearing? Black. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get out of this room? Beat the stuffing out of whoever's sending me these questions with the pan, with the pen you cook that twice pork cooked in. All of these questions were written in Chinese, and the answers were also written in Chinese. All the young lady did was accurately copy the symbols from the phrase books onto the slips of paper, with no idea, uh, with 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 no idea any of, with no idea what any of it meant. Hmm. With no idea what any of that meant. Oof. Incidentally, she doesn't have a dancer boyfriend, in fact, she's never even kissed a boy, also she's wearing white underwear. Anyway. Um, yes? Is there any particular reason this girl is, um, pretty? Or, or why we need to know what color underwear she's wearing? Okay. Can't say who is. This tickles me fancy, I guess. But the prettier the bird is, the more fun the story is, isn't it? <laughs> exactly! I mean. What? What? <laughs> oh, I love Luna's. What? What? Right. Well, what I wanted to say was this: all them Chinese blokes outside the room didn't know nothing about them books what she had, so it follows that they would have thought whoever was inside spoke Chinese just like them. You see? Mm -hmm. After all, far as I can tell, they're having a nice little chin way with one of their countrymen. Uh huh. Um, okay, interesting, but what does that have to do with your shoulders? Or a robot feeling pain? Vic, I feel pain when my body's having a spot of bother. Well, hold up, mate, this ain't right. We keep this up and we buck it. If things go really pear-shaped, we'll be brown bread. So says the central computer to itself, seeing that things are a bit bollocksed. In the interest of extricating my body from his unpleasant predicament, the mainframe sends out a signal over the wireless, and my software interprets that signal as pain. And I stop doing whatever daft thing I was doing. It's the same, isn't it? Just like the Chinese Wu. So you're saying the robots feel pain differently than humans, right? Use your loaf, Missy. You listen to a word I've said. A human feels pain when you do something you shouldn't. Like sit your bum down on a tap, right? Same <coughs> thing for us robots. If you feel like being clever, there ain't really that much different between a human and a robot. Forget all about that mainframe and signal box. And us golems ain't that different from the bird in the room. So think about it now. How do you know humans ain't the same just without all the electronic pony, huh? What if when someone asks you a question, all you're doing is pulling out the right answer from some sort of phrase book in your brain? Mm. Ain't no way to prove that, of course, but as far as I can see, there ain't no reason to. I mean, it's all the same, innit? If you're actually a thinking creature, or if you're just some kind of language processing machine. Hmm. Does okay really mean okay? Does what a human ought. Hmm. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person. Oh, this is actually a really good theming. Mm -hmm. People who have played this game know something very particular about that sentence. Hmm. Hey, um, can I ask you something? Lay it on me, Why did you stop us? Ha! Right you are, mate. Right you are. Got so carried away on you, forgot. I haven't seen anyone for yonks, and I got a mighty excited as all. Just spit it out. Right, right. Well, uh, there was something I wanted to tell you lot. What was it? Patience, darling. Now, I know I might look a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I ain't really supposed to. Same thing for the rest of the blokes. Fact is, the reason we look a bit like skeletons is because we are a bit like skeletons. There's this special artificial biological tissue what's called ABT. When a gold is all new hmm. and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. 
I don't. Uh, uh, what, what? You, mate, Joseph. Hmm. Even feels like real skin with pores, a little bit of hair, a few pimples, scars, and the like. Interesting. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in front of you. Right in the middle. Command violation. Rogue processes detected. Product ID G T M C M G O L M. Executing emergency deactivation. Golem! No, they're cockney, friend. I forget. Uh, cause it's explained that he has a personality chip and that's why he talks like that. Mm -hmm. But I forget if there's a translation reason, reason why, cause I think either A, in the original Japanese, he had a, ja a, a he spoke like a Yankee, mm -hmm. or he spoke like someone from like, you know, the southern Osaka. part of Japan. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I think I, it'd be somewhere north, you would I, think. But. Uh, I, I actually remember... I, I, I don't know if I, I think in a review or something, but I remember that like this particular sequence was a little hard to translate because of the accent of the accent of the original source. So I think they just went with Cognate. There's one, some to, the, fun. to the feeling of, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 but, but nothing meaningful happened in this scene. We didn't learn, didn't learn anything or I mean. I yeah, know. definitely not. You can't piece anything together here, huh? Not at all. But so, maybe you should externalize it to the viewers. That, that Ciro just shut him down. I mean, we can draw the connection of who just talked about their skin. Mm. Anyway. I, I don't get it. Looks like it. Damn it. I wonder what he was trying to tell us. See, right in the middle of... <laughs> right in the middle of what? Or maybe he's talking about Kay. You know, his, his back. An ambidex gate has been opened. <laughs> oh. 45 minutes oh! Until Shit. Ambidex gate so everyone has completed their... their uh... Wow, well, we're only 20 minutes in, damn! Oh, what the hell? The other team must have opened it. Shit! Why would they do that? Right, let's go. Uh, talk, talk to me, Kitty. Interesting. Do you like how this still was the most 99 thing ever? Yeah. I mean, even though it was balls. Yeah, and uh, and as you know, with 999, it, like it's sneaking in the theming. Yeah. No. A, there was a very good line in there that, like, without context, you go like, "Oh, that's a thing," is it? And then in context, you go, "Oh, that's oh, fair. oh man, oh, that's exciting. I know that was weird. It was very but, weird, but but it, it's it's so 999 though. Yeah, I can't fault it. Yeah. Right, right on, right on, right on, right on. Right on, governor. Right on. Right on. Ah, uh, uh, oh, oh, VLR. Oh, Virch's last reward, re reward, re reward, reward, mm -hmm. I really love how the game, in every ride, keeps shuffling your party. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, it makes it le yeah. less, like, easy to predict. Yeah, and also, like, there are some things in here where I'm, like, depending on how you play through the game, like, your feelings about certain characters really change, because it takes you a while to find out things about some people, depending on what route you go through. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, there's an order to fix things, but you can kind of... Let me just say, you don't have to get all the an Yep, You don't have to open... Okay, this this is not the actual answer, but mm -hmm. you don't have to open all the... There's not a right order to for opening mm -hmm. the doors. You just have to open all the doors. Let's just say right. like that. Okay. And, uh, uh, wait, wait. I'm talking about figurative doors, not mm -hmm. actual doors. Oh. Okay. Or you don't have to open all the presents, but you have to open all the presents. Oops, sorry. Oh, yeah. Hey. I mean, I can go... Oh. Uh... Uh, we pushed through the magenta door and ran into the warehouse. There stood Phi, Dio, and K. Oh, what the hell, guys? Why did you open the AB gate before everyone got back? I apologize. We only turned away for a moment. Dio opened it. Motherfucker. No, you got a problem with that? Of course we do. Why? I don't remember us all promising we wouldn't open the thing until everyone showed up. This isn't about promises. Are you stupid or just an asshole? Probably both. We were able to get back here in time. But what about the others? And Miyoji, Quark, and Clover are still out there somewhere. What were you planning to do if they didn't get back in time? Nothing. Why would I have to do anything? Motherfucker. Didn't you hear the voice? Anybody who doesn't get back in time to vote just gets their vote automatically set to ally. Oh. Pretty straightforward to me. 
So what if they don't get back in time? They'll all get set to ally, and all three of them will get too big. I mean, truth be told, that would actually make Tenmyoji a little bit safer, but. Mm hmm. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. Tenmyoji's only got one BP. I figure he'll be pretty. You can only lose two, two BP at a time. Mm hmm. Yeah. And that'll put Quark and Clover up close to nine. So that's not too bad for them either. In other words, they ought to be thanking me. <laughs> Two milkmen go comedy. Um, didn't you guys find the note? What? What's this? Well, we found it in our safe. Hey, I'll read it. Are some more AB game rules? Not voting is not an option. If both parties <laughs> refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. Oh. Words, one person out of every color group of three has to. Vote. <laughs> what the hell, man? This wasn't in our room. Oh, I guess. I guess. I think it's in, in yours, mm -hmm. no matter what. He's right. There was no such note in our safe. Oh, well, damn. That's a bummer. <laughs> Whoops. In the gate if I'd known about this. Of course. Really? Huh. I'm worried about the others. If time runs out, they'll. They'll be penalized. Yes. They'll you know, die. Quark is part of that team. Maybe something happened with him. He seemed a little off before we headed into the chromatic doors. This is bad. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. Where's Alice? Oh, she went running. She was here just a minute ago. She fucking went running after Clover. Yeah? I mean, there's 45 minutes before the thing, you know, but... Oh. It took me only a moment to spot her. She was several yards away and kneeling down to look at something on the floor. What she was looking at, I couldn't tell. I was about to head over and see what was going on when... <laughs> Whoa, uh, hey guys. Has Quark been here? Oh. Did something happen to him? He disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? He's gone. We can't find him anywhere. This baby clover. When was the last time you saw him? It's like baby clover. <laughs> we were heading back here. Ten Miyoji and I went into the lounge, but Quark didn't follow us. We turned around and started calling for him, but when he didn't respond, we ran back the way we'd come. And you couldn't find him? Right. We thought maybe he just hadn't seen us go into the lounge. So we checked the crew quarters and the infirmary. But he wasn't there either. All right, we need to split up. If we can't find him in any of the floor A rooms, we'll move to floor B. Okay. I need to go tell Alice. You guys go on ahead. Hmm. Right. You do that. All right, well, we're going to go look for Quark. On the next episode. Oh my goodness. Hey, kitty. What do you think's happening? Talk to me. What's what's in your mind, bub? It's like Baby Clover. Baby Clover? Remember when we couldn't find Baby Clover? And then she tried to kill us? Wait, what? Oh, you mean in one of the endings? In, like, most of the endings, actually, with yeah. Baby Clover. Ah, you're not that close to the end. You're not. Just calm down, girl. Calm down. I'm just you're saying. saying. Th you're saying things. We're not, you're, you're being crazy. You're crazy. Don't, don't you... Don't, Hey, listen, Gov listen, Govna. Don't you, don't you, don't you trouble your. Okay, okay, be real troubled. Whoa, right. whoa, we're falling. Hey there, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Huh, Kitty? I'm good at being troubled. Are you gonna be? You're gonna be in trouble? No, being troubled. Ooh, that's less good.